How to create leaders in your cleaning business. You know, there's many a times when, uh, when a business owners will find themselves to where they need a, a lead person, a supervisor, or a manager. And, you know, there's, uh, you may have people that are in-house already that may make good leaders. But, you know, the first thing that you have to do is that you really have to look at the needs and the gaps that you have in your business. So that's really going to identify which position you really need to be filling. Uh, and for most of us, it's generally a supervisor position. So after you've looked at the needs and the gaps in the business, you want to be able to, uh, you know, identify somebody's qualities that may make a good leader. Now, always look in-house first at your team and uh, to see, you know, who has the, some qualities that would uh, really create a good leader. And what I'm talking about is, you know, do they have good uh, priori or prioritizing uh, skills? You know, do they uh, do they prioritize, uh, prioritize things, and uh, are they able to get things done when they're supposed to be done? You know, the other thing is, uh, do they get results? Uh, very, very important. You know, that's a quality that we we got to have in somebody because that's the, that's really the bottom line. We got to make sure that we're always moving forward. Uh, another thing is, are they a good communicator? You know, because our supervisor is going to have to communicate with our team. They're going to have to communicate with management. And in uh, uh, many cases, they're going to have to communicate with our clients. So we want to make sure they're a good communicator. Something else we've got to think about is, are they decisive? Again, you know, there's going to be situations where they have to make decisions on the fly. And uh, they're going to be, have to uh, do this quickly. So that's a quality that we want to look for. Now, the other thing is, too, is that we, want to, we also want to see if they have a quality that they care about people. Remember, they're going to be working a t with a team of people, you know, of, of cleaners, and we got to make sure that they have their interest at heart, not just their own. So we have to know that they care about people. So let's say we, we have some candidates that we may want to select from, but, you know, the real question is, do they want to be a leader? In some cases, no, they don't. So... What you want to do is once you find out that they're not interested in being a leader, then I would say the one thing you can do is you offer them learning and development, uh, personal development in areas of interest. Um, I find that to be a, a great way to, you know, continually let the person grow as an individual. Uh, and that's a, that's a great thing to do. So always offer that. And that's why, you know, on the janitorialstore.com, we have a CSU business library. And our library there has over 8,000 training videos, and it's a great source for personal development. And, you know, and that's what we offer people. And a lot of our members, that's what they use it for, uh, for, their, for their team, is uh, exactly that, personal development and huddles in the morning. So keep that in mind. Now, something else you want to do, too, is that you could always use training as a promotion qualifier, meaning that if you have people that are interested in, in you know, uh, getting promoted into a lead man or a supervisor or manager position, that they have to go through training. And I would suggest that you have a plan. You have to have a plan. Uh, and the plan, maybe it's three to six months that you're going to make this transition from a, a, especially like a, a frontline cleaner into a supervisor. The person's a great cleaner. They do everything great. They, they, they check all the boxes for the qualities that we're looking for. Well, now we have to put this plan together. So, and uh, put a plan together in which it will be three to six months uh, to where you're going to walk them through, train them on, on what they need to know as far as management, how to handle situations and things like that. Uh, they'll make a huge difference because one of the things that I often see is that cleaning companies do not offer the training for their supervisors and managers. It's like, I, I just don't believe that. You know, they're setting them up to fail. So it's very, very important that that's what we do. So we put a plan together and we put a training program together. Uh, again, because, you know, we want to give them the tools to succeed. If we don't, chances are that they're not going to succeed, especially if they've never had any management uh, uh, positions before. So very, very important. I can't stress that enough. So. And the other thing that you want to do uh, as, the, as the owner of the business, you want to support these people and you want to be able to coach them. So as we're going through this process of developing these leaders, you know, coach them, you know, give them some suggestions on how they may handle a situation. Um, you know, it's, 
it's, it's all about their personal growth and their growth as a leader. And uh, by doing these things, you're going to find out that you're going to develop a, a, a fantastic leader that will be able to, uh, to do the same thing that you've done is groom other people to become great leaders. And that's what it's all about in your cleaning business, you know, because uh, there's no way you can do all this on your own. You, you, we have to be able to have a group of people, a team, and uh, that's what it's all about. You create systems and you create good uh, teams of people in order to scale your business to levels that you'd be just amazed by. But that's how you're going to do it is by uh, creating some good leaders and creating systems. So I'm Steve Hansen, co-founder of the janitorialstore.com and myhousecleaningbiz.com. And, uh, you know, if you liked what I have here, go ahead and click on the like and share button. And if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Just click on the subscribe button and you're going to find hundreds and hundreds of uh, training videos or videos on how to build a successful cleaning business. So until next time, we'll see you.